Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be designing and simulating the unity gain inverter circuit. We will be simulating this circuit using the KiCad tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Now, double click on unity gain inverter. Now, this particular schematic window appears now we have to click on add a symbol and in this particular choose symbol library we have to type lm741 and click on this operational amplifier and place this lm741 operational amplifier on the schematic window now right click and select mirror vertically we are just doing this for our design convenience now we have to place the various voltage source so click on add a symbol and in this particular filter type p spice and next we have to select the resistor symbol click ok and in order to rotate click r button once we place this particular resistor, click on the schematic window and we have to select an another resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window. So we require three resistor for this particular design and uh, uh, this has shown uh, this has shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to uh, define the resistor value so right click on resistor click on property define this particular resistor as r1 and define the value as one kilo ohm so all the resistor we have to define the value as one kilo ohm since we are designing the unity gain inverter circuit so click on properties define the reference as r3 and define the value as one kilo ohm now we have to place the voltage source across the operational amplifier so click on add symbol and uh, in the piece uh, in the search bar type piece wise and select the voltage source now place this particular voltage source so we require a vdd and a vss source uh, which is uh, plus or minus 5 volt okay so now we also have to place a input source for this particular circuit so we have placed three voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial we have to place a ground connection so click on add port and search for ground and place this particular ground connection for the three different voltage source so the three different port voltage source would be vdd vss and the v input as shown in this particular tutorial so now next we have to define the voltage source value so right click on the voltage source define the reference as vdd define the value here as zero click on spice model and define the dc voltage as 5 volt and click ok right click on this particular voltage source click on property and define the v reference as vss and define the value as zero and define the dc as minus 5 volt and click ok now click on wire connect the negative terminal to the ground connection as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to place the global label so place this particular global label vdd and also place the global label vdd across the pin number 7 now click 
across the second voltage source and place the global label VSS as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to connect this particular global label to the terminal one of the voltage source. So connect all the global label as shown in this particular tutorial and connect the global label VSS and VDD to pin number 4 and pin number 7. Next connect the wire from the terminal 1 of this voltage source to the resistor and from the resistor R1 to the terminal to the terminal number 2 of the LM741 amplifier. Now connect the resistor R2 to the terminal number 2 and the terminal number 3 is connected to resistor R3. Now from the second terminal of resistor R2 will be connected to the terminal 6 of the op amp and click on the add power port and place the ground connection across the resistor R3. Now right click on this particular voltage source, click on property, define the reference as V in and define the value as 0. Click on spice model, click on sinusoidal, define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 1, frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now we have to define the model for LM741 because Kikat uh, doesn't understand what this particular symbol is. So right click, define this as a reference U1 and click on model, click on select file and you have to use this particular model for the simulation. So in this particular video, I would be placing this model in the comment section so you can download this particular model. Now click on alternate node sequence and define this as 3, 2, 7, 4, 6 and click OK and select the type as subcircuit. we have to place the appropriate analysis spice analysis so click on add text and define it as dot tran 4 milli and 8 milli and place this particular text on the schematic window so the ng spice would understand that so this circuit basically represents a unity gain inverter where the gain of circuit is given as shown and the V out will be equal to minus of V min and this type of circuit is used as a buffer or to convert V out to V out plus. So click on simulator and run this particular simulation. Now place the probe across the resistor R1 so you can see the output and place this particular probe across the output. So you can see the voltage has been inverted with unity gain. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.